Daniel he. Blue Beetle called 10. New recruits, 4. Zardos again. He'd been uh, on a mission from the Guardians, chatting with Greta Goddess. And a, uh, another new recruit had, a, recruit had accompanied him, which was his appointed partner. A chick, a Thanagarian chick, Kimbra, a hawk woman. New recruit to the Blue Beetle. And they were in Greta Goddess's planet, home planet, of the centre of the Milky Way galaxy, Gaia. G-A-I-A, -A, the planet Gaia. Rather large, oceans, mountains, land, like Earth in a lot of ways, very beautiful, very beautiful nature. The heart of the Milky Way in a lot of ways, where Greta ruled, Greta Goddess ruled. The Queen of Green, Greta Goddess. And she had inquiries for the Blue Beetle Corps because she'd made inquiries of the Guardians on certain specifics of how the ethics of this galaxy sort of worked somewhat. She had her ethical code. Gaia was well established on a long line of ethics and morals and religion as well. They believed in the higher power, the creator, the presence. But she had questions on, on some of the moral structures of the galaxy and had questions about a report which the Guardians had had filed to them in own records, which were, these were public records, which were available intergalactically on the oceans of infinity and of, of how Jordan's experiences in the oceans of infinity, because he'd registered a, some journal entry and notes with the Guardians and on OA of how the Oceans of Infinity had functioned. And Greta was a bit curious about these Oceans of Infinity and what they were all about. The Guardians had sent her the two Blue Beetles and she was making inquiries of them and they were to be sent now. She had specific objectives she wanted from them to be sent to find these Oceans of Infinity and how Jordan had given directions and things and off they went. And they, uh, they travelled space in a, a bug. This was one of the space bugs of the Blue Beetle Corps. It was similar to Ted Cord's bug design, a bit more uh, aerodynamically or space dynamically designed, but it was a bug. And they achieved the space sectors of the oceans of infinity. And uh, they, were, they were in the, the area the geographical space location. What next? said Kimbra. We'll settle up, said Zardoz, polishing his air gun. And wait. They waited. A few days they waited. They played card games. They listened to official Blue Beetle Core music. Uh, they ate their breakfast, lunch, and dinners, and chatted, and waited to see if any connection would be made. But as they waited, they became drowsy. Day after day, they became a bit more drowsy. And uh, then they entered a, a sort of lucid, hallucinatory dream state. The oceans of infinity started impacting on them. Now, Zardoz and Kimbra sort of both questioned, what do you do? And they took them on adventures. The Ocean of Infinity took them on adventures, as it had done so for Hal Jordan, on th things in their life, people from their past, and lessons they had gone through in life, and what it was about and where it was possibly supposed to be going. What what was the choices they would make and things like that. And uh, 
came to a conclusion after a, a few hours and they sort of came out of a drowsy state and they got the impression then that the oceans of infinity were about somewhat moulding them as, I suppose, better people was their conclusion, as better, better citizens of the universe, better children of the universe, improvements and giving them a focus on making plans and where they were going in life. This seemed to be the logic of what the Oceans of Infinity was all about. Zardas had also questioned the origin of the Oceans of Infinity, and it, the father figure of the presence had shown up a few times and just grinned. 